Next question. In gymnosperms and angiosperms, the life cycle is haplontic, diplontic, haplodiplontic, diplohaplontic, haplobiontic. See here, haplontic life cycles are a primitive type of life cycle. You can see here, the parents are haploid, they produce gametes after mitosis, they come and fuse, zygote is formed. Zygote undergoes zygotic meiosis to keep the chromosome number constant in the next generation. The adult will be haploid. So haploid parents will be having haploid adult. So the whole generation is fully haploid. This is mainly found in primitive algae. See here, diplontic, the parents are diploid. They produce gametes after meiosis. They fuse together, diploid zygote is formed. Zygote directly develops into diploid adult. Haplodiplontic is a type of case See, haploid parents produce diploid zygote. Zygote develops into a stage, diploid stage. Develops as sporophyte and they produce spores after meiosis. From that, new another adult comes. See, you can see alternation of generations. This is mainly found in algae. Haplodiplontic life cycles are mainly found in bryophytes and pteridophytes. In bryo, it is haplodiplontic. Pterido, it is diplohaplontic. In angiosperms and gymnosperms, the life cycle is diplontic life cycle. So the answer is diplontic.